everybody, it's me today, and today I got a bit of a special package today. This just arrived today, and I'm eager to get it open. Where is my knife? Right, I found it. Okay. Now time to get this open. Let's see which size. Hold on. Tell me is gonna be one of those boxes that you don't know Jack Squat about. I'm sorry if I keep blocking the camera. Oh my god. Ooh. Okay, I so need a knife for this. This is really sticky. Alright, it's coming out. Ooh. Holy crap, look at that, guys. Yo. Well, it was wrapped in that brown paper that I'm not a big fan of at all. But hey, I got this model, and it looks really, really stunning. Alright. Now let's, uh... Look at the back. We'll look at the model in a second and see if it's alright. Looks really cool. This is Bittern. This is in Hornby's 1-1 uh, collection. And yeah. Right. <laughs> I'm really excited for this. Alright. It's hidden, hidden behind there. Did it came with a certificate or anything? So they usually do. Sorry about that, guys. No, nope. this one didn't come with a certificate. Alright. Well then, I don't know why it didn't, but it didn't. So I'll never know what uh, number this one is. Alright, now let's look at the engine. that oh this might be the reversing rod isn't it oh well no big deal gotta be careful with this one there it is bittern now that looks stunning uh oh it's missing a coal load hmm. Pretty good so far. All right. Now the auxiliary water tender. This thing's blocking away in it. <laughs> <laughs> Just about got it. Oh What's this thing? Oh, it's a piece of um, foam thing. Alright. No big deal. There's the auxiliary water tender. Pretty nice. Really nice. I like it. All right. Let's put everything away. There's the box itself. And... Whoops. <laughs> I'll fix that. There's the locomotive itself. Now let's get this thing onto the track, shall we? Alright. So it looks like it's going to have to run without the coal in the tender, so... And please... <laughs> Even it's even if, even if it's a bit unrealistic, but hey, it does look nice. Right. Now, before I give it a quick run around, let's put the auxiliary water tender behind it. Push 
it upside. Wow. It looks awesome already. Check that out, guys. Alright, now let's give him the single run, shall we? Her go. She is running fine. I think there's uh, one of the wheels on the tender that's uh, having a little bit of a problem. Hopefully, I'll fix that. But yeah. This thing is running beautifully. Look at that. Alright, I'm back and uh. Uh, sorry for a slight cut there. The tender did had a bit of a small issue with the wheel. Uh, it was no big deal really. I just pushed it back in with uh, some needle nose pliers and then it's pretty much fixed now. So if we go to the controller. There we go. It's running smoothly. Sorry for the noise. It's a dog barking in the background. All right. So right now I got it on the, uh, the rolling road and uh, I'm going to leave it sitting here for uh, maybe 30 minutes in each direction so I guess warm up because uh, I don't know when was the last time this thing ran but he said it was hardly ever used so I'll leave it to it. Concludes the running in of bitter now while I was running this thing in I did uh, film another video of a pretty random video actually once that one gets uploaded you will see what it is and you'll see you might see why it's so random <laughs> but anyways yeah let's uh, get this thing onto the track so yeah that uh, video is about um, another a4 and a gutter blue that's a much famous one I'm sure you guys know what that one will be uh, I filmed it with Bittern's Auxiliary Tenders, so, yeah. Even though it was a random idea, but hey, it was still fun to do. So, I am going to move Bittern forward. Just so I can bring in the coaches that are out of shot. I noticed Bittern is, is in um, era 11, I think. I don't really know what era 11 is. I've actually forgotten. But you are going to have to forgive me. These are pretty much one of the British coaches I have. And hey, this will look good on her. Check that out. Right. So since Bittern's hooked up with some rolling stock from the past, let's give her a good run. Ooh, little wheel slip there. Well, let's say she can do it. And in case you guys are going to ask, am I going to get another tender for a flying Scotsman? Well, the answer to that question is no. And I say that because Hornby never sold Flying Scotsman's Auxiliary Tender single, or traditionally, I don't know how you say it, but separate, there you go. Uh, plus, getting a Flying Scotsman with the double tender, they're really hard to find. I mean, oof, uh, I don't know how many of them are rare, but 
Good God, there's so many of them are rare. I can't, I can't even tell you how many. It's just unbelievable. So that's why I'm not getting them. Or not getting one. But if I come across one for, I guess, a decent enough price, I will see what I can do. I cannot promise it though. I don't know, I'm gonna get requested by that since I got this. So that concludes the unboxing of the 1 1 collection of Bittern. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this. I really enjoyed this thing a lot, even though it's missing the coal load and the certificate. I am pretty bummed about that, but hey, I do at least the model works. That it does all it does matter. That's all that matters, I should say. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care everybody.